show you how to make these fathead sausage rolls. They use the famous fathead pizza dough that's all over the internet to make these delicious sausage rolls. Now sausage rolls are quite popular in Australia and the UK, not so much in America, but I think everybody will enjoy them. Okay, I've got the ingredients assembled. You'll need six sausages, about 500 grams or one pound. Um, any kind you like, pork or beef sausages are fine, just a nice quality sausage. These are a gourmet one and it's actually a little bit less, there's only five sausages here, but that's alright, I'm going to use that anyway. 170 grams, which would be six ounces or one and three quarter cups, shredded mozzarella or any other mild cheese that you like. 85 grams, which is three ounces or three quarter cup, almond meal or almond flour. Two tablespoons of full fat cream cheese. One egg a pinch of salt, and then you need a teaspoon of onion flakes. I actually don't have flakes, so I'm just going to use a little bit of onion powder. This is to um, flavor the pastry itself. And then you actually sprinkle a little bit extra of the onion flakes on top of the sausage rolls. Uh, but since I don't have those on hand, you can also use sesame seeds for that purpose. That's just to garnish the sausage rolls themselves. Okay, so I've got the oven preheating to 350 Fahrenheit, which would be about 180 Celsius. And now what we want to do is take the skins off these sausages. So you just need a nice sharp knife and you're just going to want to pierce it and cut down the center of it. And then you should be able to peel that skin off and discard it. So do that to each of your sausages. Put your sausages on a tray that's been lined with baking paper and we're going to pop those in our preheated oven for about 10 minutes. So while our sausages are baking, we're going to make the pastry. Now you need a microwavable safe bowl or dish. I'm just going to use this glass pie pan. Uh, but you can use any bowl as long as it's microwave safe. So we'll start by mixing the shredded cheese and your almond meal. Now you can make this pastry, it says, using coconut flour instead of almond flour, but you would only use a quarter cup instead of three quarter cup. It's much more absorbent flour. Now once you've got those mixed, we'll add in our two tablespoons of cream cheese and mix it again. Now we're going to be mixing this again after we microwave it, so I'm just going to get it that's good enough for now. I'm going to pop this in the microwave for one minute. Now after that one minute, stir it again. It should be much easier to combine it now because the cheese has melted a bit. So stir it again, and then we're going to go back in the microwave for 30 seconds. So after that 30 seconds, we're going to give it another stir. And now we're going to add the egg, a pinch of salt, and our onion flakes. Again, I'm using onion powder just because that's what I happen to have on hand. Now mix those again quickly. until you get a dough form. Okay, so now I've got two sheets of baking paper set aside. We're going to need those now to roll out the dough. Okay, now my sausages are done, so I've just taken those out of the oven and turned the oven up to 220 Celsius or 425 Fahrenheit. You're going to need two sheets of baking paper. And we're going to put this dough on there. piece on top. And just roll it out into a rectangle. It's quite a bit of dough here when you start rolling it out thin, so I'm going to go this direction as well, just to get a nice big rectangle out of it. Now, I've actually just used a little bit outside of my paper. It's a pretty good sized rectangle you get here. We're going to take that top sheet off, and then it's very helpful to have a straight edge. So I'm just going to take my knife, and since I'll start on this edge, I'm just going to trim that little bit that's off so we have a nice straight edge to start with. Now I've just laid two sausages right next to each other on top of that dough. And I'm going to use this paper to help me to roll that over. Just 
peel it back as you go till it's over on top of itself again and trim the dough again there and also any excess that comes over the ends. Now there's not too much you can do about where the split is in the middle um, but you can just cut your sausage rolls into whatever size you like. I'm going to try to get about three out of each sausage. Just continue to do that using up the rest of your sausages and dough. Now before we sprinkle the tops of them with um, onion flakes or sesame seeds is what I'm using today. It says to sort of drizzle a little oil on them but these are actually quite moist. I don't think I'm going to need it. I'm just going to go ahead and start pressing some sesame seeds right into the surface there. But if you think you need to, if yours isn't as moist as mine, by all means, add a little oil first. So we'll pop those in our oven now for 12 to 15 minutes. Now it said 12 to 15 minutes. That was 12 in my oven. And I think that's plenty golden brown. I'm going to pull those out. So there you have it. Plated up fathead sausage rolls. Serve them with a sugar-free ketchup or you could even use salsa or hot sauce, anything you like. Hope you give them a try. These are really tasty.